<laughs> you brought them some good and plenties. What do you say? Thank you. Did y'all go to um, the uh, big tent today? Yeah. Yeah. Walked around there. What are you teaching him? Huh? What are you teaching him? How to draw a wolf on a piece of board. I'm going to paint it. It's going to be painted. Oh, you're tracing it with carbon paper. Yeah. Yeah, we used to use that a lot back in the 80s. And yeah, that's where I learned all that. Back in the <laughs> 70s, 70s and you know, 80s. Well, I just did it. Yeah, they, I don't know if they even have messed. Have you ever messed yeah, with carbon have, paper um, before? No, but I like to do it. <laughs> it's pretty neat, huh? Mm -hmm. Then if I want to, I can just trace the rest of the stuff. Oh. You know, pencil back of your drawing and then turn it over. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. And if I want to, I can take this and bring the clouds back up He's here. decorating his panel. Take this right here. Door here. And and I'll, so no, I'm going to use paint on this, and then I'll be sprayed with a clear, clear it so it won't be white. Oh, I'm going to go show the little plaque that you made. He made us this little plaque. Looks good. He made that for us plaque it's burnt into the wood and then he colored painted it then um, put a coating on it how cute Ethan went to go see if Homer could play <laughs> he wanted to color with them oh they're good buddies well Homer finished his his art project there yeah, that one and the other one on there Howling. that's a darker one Howling Wolf. Yep. Howling Wolf at the night. Oh, it's that. Lobo Wolf. Yeah, okay. it, it got drawn it twice as thin, so thin, see it ripped. It's rippy. <laughs> he did one over here, too. Here's our camp. It's a pretty day today. It's kind of windy, windy, but cloudy, but a little sunny. Kind of nice. Uh, we got plenty of room. Just us. We stopped by the tents, and we are going to be looking at some of the junk. All the junk. We had to go out to Dollar General, so we thought we'd drive through and see what was up. What are these little things? Solar powered little dancing bears or something? Dancing animals. I'm trying to find a pot and a pan. That's what I need. Pots and pans and like a sink bucket. Let's go see what we can find. Well, they have excellent deals on toothbrushes. One for each of us. <laughs> Razors. All kinds of things you can use. Sewing kits, pretty beads. Hi. How are you doing today? Good. I need beads with big holes in them so I can decorate my. Oh, those are neat. Were you looking for a large hole beads? Yeah. You got any? Over here. You have some of those? Huh? Awesome. Awesome. I need to. I need to put leather through it. Right here. Awesome. I we had to walk over here to this Tyson Wells building because they don't take anything but cash, and I didn't ha even have a buck on me, so I had to. Get some cash. There's this little store here. Ooh, all kinds of uh. This is definitely a souvenir store. I've never been in here before. Cute, they have the little camels and the little penny pincher things. Oh, look at the little coin purses, Aubrey. Those are so clever. Look, those are the cutest. Oh my goodness, how pretty are those? Sherlock Holmes. Oh. oh, they've got puzzles galore and games. Look at all the games. The old classics, so pretty. Oh. Here I am trying to take a picture in front of the Tyson Wells building, but the sun is right behind us. <laughs> so I'll get a little video of Aubrey sitting there looking cute. <laughs> all right, let's go get our beads. We found some really cool beads over here. Look at all the food vendors. It smells really good. They have boba tea, kettle corn, espresso. Oh, they have, uh, what is that over there? Mini donuts. Don't you like those? Oh, yeah, I do. <laughs> you didn't want any? No. All the pretty garden stuff, and they have uh, 
I just don't really want to film in there because they always give you a problem about filming, but it smells so good. I don't know if we're going to get something here or not. Might get some tacos or something. Um, they have cinnamon rolls if you like that sort of thing. I don't. But if you like sweets, this is the place to go. They have all kinds of pastries and sweets and goodies. I need one of those collapsible buckets. I'm going to look and see if they have them here. I don't see them yet, but they may have them. Here's one of the aisles. We're not going to go walk all the way around just because they're going to be closing soon and I need to go get those beads. He's holding them for me. Here's a, pot, a pan, but... Wait, what is this? No. They don't have much to choose from for pots and pans. These are too tiny. It's a honey and soap stand. Some rocks. You get some antlers. Plant hangers. Jewelry. Oh, here's some uh, fair food. Ooh. Oh, they have the Filipina egg rolls. Lumpia. That's what I'm getting. Mm-hmm. Yummy. It's called the Golden Sun. I ended up getting in the combo one. It comes with just some pancet and two lumpia. I got the pork. And you didn't want any? But yeah. like, did you want like a hot dog or something? or? Oh, no. oh, they do have barbecue pulled pork over there and hot dogs and hamburgers and, and then there's the oh there's the Mexican place there called Noel's or something and they have root beer floats and frozen lemonades this is a uh, Maya's <laughs> So their hours are Tuesday through Saturday, 8 a.m. because they do a breakfast until 6 p.m. And I came here about 5 and they were sold out of a lot of stuff except like shredded beef and carne asada. But on Mondays they're open from 3 to 6. Yeah, it's a cute little place for this outdoor seating. We're just picking up some tacos from here. See how, see how they are. They're pretty much out of a lot of stuff today because it's after five o'clock. But they have a good menu if they if you come early enough. And decent prices. It smells good. This is everything I got from the little tents and quartzite. I got this little funnel. It's a collapsible funnel. It'll be easier to store. I got this set of needles because my walking stick has leather on it and I thought if I can connect it somehow and thread these through in case it's the leather's too big, it might work. And then also the kids are going to make jewelry with some of these beads. These are wooden beads. They're kind of earthy tones and tans and like camel colors browns and a little bit of red got these cute little ones these were four for a dollar so only got eight of those and then these were all a dollar pack and then I got some twine here for the kids to make jewelry with the beads that's it I was hoping I could braid some of these beads in here I think he put super glue on this but I could cut it a little bit and braid them in that way I don't I can or I can tie them on the ends of this I haven't decided yet it's gonna look pretty I've been working on my walking stick with my beads with my beads and this is what I've come up with just went ahead and threaded I took the braid out I tried it with the braid I tried it lower than the braid and then I just decided to put the beads where the braid was. It's, it looks pretty. Now when I go walking, I'll look pretty stylish. <laughs> when I go hiking, I can take this with me.
the kids are next door at Papa Homer and Namal Cats, and they're watching John Wayne movies. And I made some burrito bites. I'm doing burritos, bean and cheese on um, hand warm tortillas. So I'm going to take those over there for them to all snack on for lunch.